my name is Ida Kumshinjo. I'm a Zimbabwean journalist currently working with, um, uh, with the News Ox in Harare. My opinion of uh, the, uh, leadership uh, of um, the incumbent Emerson Nangagwa and the late President Robert Mugabe is that um, uh, Robert Mugabe, in my opinion, was, uh, was a politician who thrived as a politician. You know, not much of uh, his uh, administrative side of leadership uh, was, uh, was, uh, was put into, into the limelight. Emerson Munangagwa came into power uh, on, the, on the pledge that he was going to be more of a doer, of an administrator, which was going to be a, a divergence from uh, the Robert Mugabe style of leadership. And Zimbabweans, I think, embraced him uh, at that moment because, uh, you know, the route which the country was taking needed somebody who was going to come in there and deliver. You know, we did not need an orator. I mean, we had had 40, nearly 40 years of Mugabe. Mugabe, who would really move crowds in his speeches. Munangagwa, you know, uh, took advantage of that and promised to be a different kind of a leader who was going to come in there and do what a leader is supposed to do, deliver, service, pro service provision. Uh, so at the moment, two or three years of his role has been a disappointment because what he promised to do, uh, he, promised, he promised to be a different kind of leader from Gabi. To, to me, he hasn't been able to do that. So my opinion is that his um, reign has been a total disaster and a disappointment to Zimbabweans. Uh, my name is Jonathan Miriam Vega. I'm a journalist based in Harare. And uh, this is what I think about the leadership in our country for the last two, 42 years that we have had uh, independence. I believe uh, president, former President Mugabe was a statesman. That means what he was focused on was more about people, people oriented. But now when we see the Second Republic, which is led by uh, Mr. Mnangawa, we see that uh, President Mnangawa is so far disappointed in so many facets. I mean, uh, it's not about uh, the people now. We see more of himself as the man in charge, cronies around himself, you know, that type of thing. It's not good leadership. So, if we were just to compare on the traits between Mugabe and uh, Emerson Mnanga, we see that one is a good leader and one is a ruler. We are being ruled. And what I mean by being ruled is that it's only about them, not about the people. So it's about time we have leadership that is more people-centered, people-oriented, and people-focused, uh, so that at least we can move the country forward. As it is, the country is not moving forward. We are our way, we are, maybe perhaps we've taken or slid at least 10 steps back, you see. Just because people are not, we are not being listened to. The leadership is there doing its own thing and the people are here doing their own thing, you see. So we would rather have a, a situation whereby the leadership is with the people and by the people. As it is, we have a background there. Mr. Mnangagwa came from a background of a coup, which we thought it was going to be better, but then as it turned out, you know, a cheetah can never change its colors. So it's a sad development that we are in this mess because we didn't see uh, the, the, the bad side that we are going to go back 10 steps back. I think that's my take on that. My name is Moses Matenga. I'm the media Institute of Southern Africa and I'm a chapter chairperson. Yeah, differences and similarities between the late former president Robert Mugabe's era that uh, went for 37 years and uh, the current uh, reign of uh, President Emerson Nangabe. I see much in terms of differences. Uh, for starters, uh, in terms of media, what we had under President Robert Mugabe was uh, a media under threat, a media that was continuously intimidated by circumstances, circumstances including uh, policies. 
Uh, Andam Gabe, there was uh, IPA, that's the Access to Information and Protection of Privacy Act, uh, the Public Good and Security Act, among many others that the uh, players described as, uh, as draconian. Andam Nangagwa, uh, he has just replaced uh, IPA, POSA, and uh, other legislatives that include uh, the Maintenance of Public Order Act, that's MOPA, which is fairly, fairly new. So we see that uh, there is continuous harassment of media, there is continuous intimidation of media players, there is uh, 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 continuous uh, policies that uh, threaten plurality, diversity and freedom of expression. We have seen arrests of journalists, we have seen arrests of media players, we have seen even a th a, a several threats to, to freedom of expression. Under the late former president Robert Mugabe, we had several cases of poor citizens arrested for undermining the authority of the president. And we thought, since uh, Mnangagwa was viewed as a pragmatist or a reformist, we thought that would be a thing of the past in uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa's democracy uh, rule. But uh, what we get is an even increased number of people who are being arrested for undermining the authority of the president. So in that aspect, we are seeing the same from uh, Nangagwa, uh, what we had uh, been accustomed to under Robert Mugabe. So it's just an extension of, of the same. Coming to the, to the social issues, the economic issues and so on, we are still faced with the same challenges that uh, we had under, under Mugabe, a significant uh, sign of uh, or failure by Nangagwa to move away from uh, the Mugabe kind of uh, leadership or the Mugabe kind of strategy in addressing uh, socio-economic challenges. We still have hyperinflation, we still have uh, case shortages, we still have... Uh, there are too many to, to, to mention. So he has failed to move away from the Mugabe strategy in dealing uh, with the economic and social issues. We, we, we still have uh, people uh, queuing every day for cash, we still have people queuing every day for public transport. Uh, so in that aspect, we are still under uh, the kind of Mugabe philosophy in terms of, uh, in terms of leadership. Coming to political issues, we still have uh, arbitrary arrests. We still have the same complaints that civic society actors, the overseen actors had under Mugabe. We still have complaints on the lack of independence of key commissions like the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, the Zimbabwe Media Commission and uh, several other commissions. So we are still living in that kind of past, even under, under a new leader. We still have the opposition actors crying foul over issues of harassment. We also saw what, what happened ahead of the July, no, the, the March 26 uh, by-elections. The opposition was being denied access to meeting these people and so on. They had all sorts of, of challenges. So it's the same uh, what uh, they faced under Mugabe and what they are still facing under Mnangagwa. And uh, we can predict that it's getting worse or it will get even more worse as we go towards the, the 2023 harmonized elections. Yeah, I think uh, uh, basically we are still living in the past, we are still living in the Mugabe era. Uh, even under a new administration. The challenges that we had then are still uh, persisting and uh, that's uh, all I can say for now.